Well, now we've all got a little bit more time to look after and revive the clothes you've already got in our wardrobe, or as the kids call it, upcycling. So whether it is a pair of old trainers, some bobbly knitwear, maybe some hand washing that needs to be done, or some old jeans that need reviving, I have got my top tips to show you how. People always get incredibly nervous when it comes to hand washing clothes, especially woolens and delicates and things. Honestly, it is so incredibly easy. All you do, take your knitwear, for example, and then fill up your sink with, I would say almost kind of a baby bath temperature, lukewarm temperature um, uh, water. Then add your detergent in there. There we go. Mix that in and pop your knitwear in. Now what you need to do is just almost kind of massage it. That's the, uh, that's the best way to describe it because you do not want to be rubbing it together. That is when you can kind of start to damage all of those delicate fibers. So just keep doing that for a few minutes. Take it out, gently wring it out and then it's on to stage two. So this is a rinsing stage. All you need to do, fill your sink up with the same temperature water. And don't worry, you don't need to get a thermometer or anything like that. You'll be able to judge it by your hand and pop that in there. It's actually really important to make sure that it is a similar temperature though, because that is when things can go wrong. That's why you can't really put knitwear in the washing machine because when the cold water goes in it for the rinse, that's when the fibers go like that and, uh, and things start to shrink. So you just need to make sure that it's uh, a similar temperature that you're rinsing it in. And what you can also do as well, what I like to do is put a little bit of my favorite fabric conditioner in there to give it a nice smell afterwards. So there we go. To do that, give it another gentle ring and then I pop it in on a spin cycle in the machine, give me a spoon, and we go. So your final stage of hand washing your delicates is once it's out of the machine to make sure you dry it flat. You can't put it on a radiator or over a clothes horse or anything like that because what's going to happen is the weight of the water is going to drag it down which means it's going to misshape your knitwear. But if you do dry it flat, you know what, that is going to be as good as new soon. Don't write off your knitwear just because it's got bobbles on it. You know what, with uh, one of these, a little bobble off, you'll have it looking fantastic. These are absolutely brilliant little machines, but if you do not have one of them, fear not, do you know what works fantastically as well? It's a blunt razor. Now if you just do this all over here, as you can see, it's all starting to come off. And there we go. You know what, give me a few more minutes on this. I'll have it look like it's come straight out the shop. So everyone's got some old jeans, t-shirts or leggings that could do with a little bit of a revamp. But have you ever thought about home dyeing? Because uh, all you need to do is get one of these. It's all done for you now. So it's got the salt and everything in it. Get your garments, pop it in the machine and put it on a 30 or 40 degree wash and wait for the results. Um, okay, so about an hour and a half later, it's still, it's like Christmas to me this. I still never, uh, I always get so excited to see what the results are gonna be looking good so far. That is pretty damn good. That is, they're as good as new. Look at that. New pair of jeans. I've not even left the house. Now, when it comes to reviving your trainers, one of the easiest things to do is remove the laces. Now, if they're coloured, just put them in a wash. Make sure you put them in a sock though. You don't want them getting tangled up in your machine. If they're white, on the other hand, well then, just get a bleach solution, pop that in a glass, and then just let them soak for a few hours, and they'll be good as new, I promise you. When it comes to the soles of the trainers though, I swear by Clean Cleaner. Now, if you just pop some Clean Cleaner on here, all you need to do is work it in with a dry cloth. Or if they're really bad, we'll then get yourself uh, an old toothbrush and give that a go as well. And it works absolutely brilliantly. If though, they're even too bad for that. Well, do you know what? It calls for just one thing, and that is the pillowcase. I'll explain, follow me. So take your trainers, pop them in your pillowcase, then pop your detergent or pour your detergent in, and then tie it in a double knot. Let's see if I can manage this. You don't want them to come undone. What this will do, it'll protect your machine and it'll also protect your trainers as well. And then, just pop it in with a good hot wash. Well, check it out. I've been indoors and I've managed to get new trainers 
a nice new jumper, a new pair of jeans, and a lovely clean top as well. And that's all without leaving the house, staying safe and staying indoors.